Hello everyone. Welcome to the heart of defense tech. From sky-high jets and deep-sea marvels to groundbreaking army gear, we've got it all. Hit subscribe and let's gear up together. In the echelons of modern aviation, two stalwarts consistently emerge at the forefront, France's Rafale and China's J-10C. The Rafale, a testament to Dassault Aviation's prowess, boasts twin engines under its canard delta wing design, promising both power and agility. On the other side, the J-10C, a beacon of Chengdu Aircraft Corporation's innovation, also bears the canard delta wing but dances to the rhythm of a single engine. With Rafale having its inaugural flight in 1986 and stepping into active service by 2004, it enjoys a vintage advantage, implying more refined iterations based on real-world feedback. Meanwhile, the younger J-10C took its maiden flight in 1998, officially joining the operational cadre in 2018. Given its longer tenure and subsequent refinements, Rafale edges out in terms of reliability and operational history. In the realm of versatility, Rafale emerges as a veritable aerial chameleon. It's not just adept at asserting air superiority but also flexes its muscles in ground support, reconnaissance, and even nuclear deterrence missions. Now, while the J-10C is undeniably formidable in air dominance, when compared to the broad operational spectrum of the Rafale, it seems a tad specialized. The Rafale, thanks to its wide range of operational capabilities and a more extensive arsenal of mission tools, assumes the lead as the more versatile aerial asset. Diving into their specifications, the Rafale is designed keeping adaptability in mind. It accommodates a solo pilot or a pair, can touch a brisk Mach 1.8, and displays endurance with a range of 3,700 kilometers. Its design specifics, including a 50,000 feet service ceiling and an impressive max takeoff weight of 24,500 kg, reflect its versatility in varied operational scenarios. On the contrary, the J-10C, although faster at Mach 2.2, offers a shorter operational leash with a 1,850 km range. Its design, tailored for solo pilots, may limit multitasking potential in complex mission scenarios. Given these figures, Rafale, with its blend of speed, range, and dual crew capability, positions itself as the more adaptable aircraft. Discussing production numbers as of 2023, the Rafale saw 239 units gracing global runways. However, the J-10C marked a stronger numerical presence with 312-plus units. A vast majority served the PLAAF, with a sprinkle in the Pakistan Air Force. This sheer difference in unit production positions the J-10C as the more prolifically produced aircraft. Engines are the heartbeats of these airborne titans. The Rafale pulsates with the synchronized power of its twin Snecma M88-2 engines, an embodiment of unmatched power combined with cutting-edge technology. In contrast, the J-10C's reliance on its singular WS-10B turbofan, though robust, doesn't promise the redundancy or balanced thrust that Rafale's dual-engine setup provides. With the combined thrust and redundancy of two engines, Rafale comfortably takes the lead in powertrain reliability. Weaponry is where these fighters bear their fangs. Rafale is an armory in the sky, equipped with long-range meteor missiles, AASM hammer precision-guided munitions, and more. While the J-10C is impressively armed with its PL-series missiles and diverse bomb configurations, it's the sheer breadth and versatility of Rafale's arsenal that nudges it ahead, making it a more formidable opponent in diverse combat scenarios. Navigating the critical realm of radar systems, Rafale's RBE-2, AESA radar stands as a sentinel, renowned for its long detection range and ability to track multiple threats simultaneously. The J-10C's Type 1473H, AESA radar, though competent, doesn't match the Rafale's range or multi-target acuity. With superior detection capabilities and advanced features, Rafale clearly stands out as the more sensor-rich platform. In the secretive world of stealth, both fighters strive for a reduced radar footprint. However, Rafale, with its blended design, internal weapon bays, and radar absorbent materials, effortlessly reduces its radar cross-section. While the J-10C incorporates stealthy elements, 
Rafael's meticulous attention to stealth details gives it a definitive edge in being less detectable. Diving into the financial domain, the Rafael comes with a heftier price tag, clocking a development cost of $49.5 billion. On the other hand, the J10C's development is estimated at a notably lesser $5 billion. The Rafale's elevated cost can be attributed to its prolonged development timeline, incorporation of more advanced technologies, and the high standards of aerospace manufacturing in France. Moreover, its operating costs, at $16,500 per flight hour, surpass the J10C's estimated operational expenditure of $10,000 per flight hour. This difference is reflective of the Rafale's intricate design, cutting-edge systems, and the meticulous maintenance standards it demands. In terms of pure cost metrics, the J10C emerges as the more economical option. However, the Rafale's price underscores its position as a top-tier, technologically superior combat aircraft. In the comprehensive evaluation between the Rafale and J10C, the Rafale distinctly establishes itself as the superior aircraft. Its multifaceted capabilities, encompassing a diverse operational range, advanced radar systems, and an extensive array of weaponry, underscore its dominance in aerial combat scenarios. Coupled with its prolonged service history and enhanced stealth characteristics, Rafale's credentials are unmatched. While the J-10C presents itself as a noteworthy contender with its distinct merits, in a direct comparison, the Rafale decidedly stands out reaffirming its position as the leading choice in this aviation comparison. Thank you for joining us on this thrilling comparison of the Rafale and J-10C. If you found this information insightful, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with fellow aviation enthusiasts. For more in-depth analyses and aviation showdowns, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Drop your thoughts and questions in the comments below, and we'll be back soon with more exciting content. Until then, keep soaring and stay curious.